Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Arida. Today we're testing out the Italjet uh, Dragster 125. It is a 125cc uh, scooter actually. It is a scooter, it kind of looks like a mixture of a, a motorcycle and a scooter. It has a trellis frame which is really really nice and uh, uh, looking very nice uh, I must say. I'm, I'm really positively surprised by the design. Um, if I were to buy this thing, definitely because of the design, the seat looks actually kind of comfy and high class, but it is fairly uh, hard. It does not have any, uh, does not have much storage space. You know, you cannot fit a helmet or anything underneath the seat. It is just basically for looks, for the design. It is a it, Italian designed uh, scooter. And that's the way it looks. It looks really, really nice and well designed. We have these two adjustable shocks in the front and one in the rear. And uh, yeah, it is just fabulous actually to look at. And uh, the more you look at it, the more you can see. Uh, in the front, we have a separate uh, suspension and uh, steering mechanism, as you can see here. Uh, it is a little bit similar, I would say, already to Vespa, because it's one on the one sided. Uh, we have a 200 millimeter front disc brake with ABS in the rear, 190 millimeters, I think, and uh, we have full LED. It is just a joy to look at. So let's get to the controls, display, and storage space. On the left hand side, we have the uh, passing light switch in the front here. We have high beam, low beam switch, we have a passing light switch, we have a horn. I will show you in a moment. I'm sorry uh, if there's something not in the frame because the, the sun is so bright I cannot see anything here. We have the uh, horn here. We have the uh, turn signal switch here. Uh, everything seems to be of good quality. 
plastic, so no complaints there. In the middle, we have this, um, um, we have the ignition switch here, and we also have a USB uh, connection down below there. On the right hand side, we have the uh, start stop switch, emergency switch, we have the starter switch, we have the throttle, and we have the uh, brake lever for the front uh, disc brake. So about the display is an LC display and to, uh, on top we have the uh, control lights. Also in the display we have some control lights. We have a uh, big uh, speedometer reading. Uh, we have a, a clock here in the top on the top right hand side. Uh, we have a total mileage uh, display and we have um, trip A and trip B and that's all you get for this. You don't get a computer or anything. You, on the right hand side we have the reset button for this and that's all about the display. So about the storage space, in the front we don't have anything. We just have nice, de nicely designed frame and that's all there is to it. Uh, we can open up the seat actually by using the key. We take out the key, put it in the seat just like on a, re a regular motorcycle and we can open up the seat here. And underneath the seat we have some tools and documents. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, all there is to it. There's not much space. You can put your purse in there or anything small, some cigarettes or whatever. But all there's, that's all there is to us. We have an OBD and ABS connection. We have, I don't know what there's here. If there's a fuse here, I will ask the dealer. That's all there is to it in the storage space. So this is the Italjet Dragster 125. Uh, thank you very much, Moto 1000 here in Malaga or Giuliana uh, for this test ride. Thank you very much to Moto 1000. So let's take it back to the dealer. So the first thing that you notice, or at least you notice that uh, when you get on the seat, it is fairly low, 770 millimeters, I think. Uh, we do not have a side stand. We only have a center stand. This side stand you can order separately. Okay. Um, in order to turn it on, you have to watch out for the emergency cutoff switch here, which is a push uh, action button. So if you push it, it will not start. You have to release it. So let's uh, get it started and then we will get on the highway. The first thing that you notice when you uh, apply a little bit of gas is that you actually have a very high high revving engine so and uh, that uh, I, I actually assumed if you have that then you have maybe more torque or so but actually I did not notice that <laughs> the mirrors are pretty nice uh, regular motorcycle mirrors nothing to complain about here the only thing when you sit on the scooter is uh, the seat is very hard and also you have sitting sitting in a kind of a toilet position here you cannot move your feet I mean you can make move them to the outside like that but you cannot uh, do any other stunts with your feet because uh, yeah the uh, the the space is very limited for your seat uh, the corner performance uh, is very flickable and I, I stress flickable, very very flickable because it has very small tires, 12 inch in the front and 13 in the rear. So it's almost like a Vespa kind of style uh, uh, tires or uh, size. So that also means it is fairly flickable and agile but uh, not not very going very straight you know in the in the corners and uh, so it is not very stable i would say but i mean you can get used to this this is no problem when you sit on it the brakes feel very very firm uh, the suspension is very firm and everything gives you a very sporty feeling to has a very sporting 
touch. However, you only have 125 cc, <laughs> so um, it is not really that sporty, but it kind of feels like that, you know. Yeah, we have uh, ABS in the front and the rear. We do not have uh, traction control. Uh, the price of this scooter is fairly high. It is 5,589 plus 200 on the road. Um, but of course you have to pay for the design, I would say. So if you like this trellis frame kind of thing, it is uh, very nice to look at too, to be honest, yeah. So let's do the one zero to 100 here. Let's go. One, two, three. So naturally, you do not have any wind protection on this. It is like a naked uh, kind of styled scooter, and the wind hits you with full force but i never had a problem with that so i don't worry about this i like naked bikes i cannot really tell you how fast it will go because as i said many times before uh, our roads go up and down up and down here so i cannot really give you a maximum speed on this one i would say maybe 110 according to the speedometer uh, this is the 125 version uh, you can also get a 200 cc version which apparently goes up to 125 that's at least that's what they say oh we have some tires on the road here we have to watch out but they're cleaning them already we have maximum power we have a very steep incline here i now kind of feel very small micro vibrations in the seat but that's fairly normal to 125 at the maximum limit being driven at the maximum limit and i don't feel any difference to be honest to any other 125 scooter some say it's more powerful more sporty i don't really think so the uh, display naturally it's very easy to read since it's an lc display and you can see it quite nicely in the sun and under direct sunlight so no problem with the display the mirrors are nice motorcycle standard you can see everything in the mirrors the seating position is the only downside you know i am 175 centimeters and uh, yeah you sit a little bit cramped on it but at least you're sitting on a designer piece of hardware here it is actually not too bad it's pretty st stable at higher speeds i'm amazed although it has very small tires but you can go these 90 100 kilometers an hour quite nicely here on the road it does not feel bad I kind of noticed it on other smaller bikes as well, like the Honda Monkey, which also barely goes up to 90. And you also feel kind of safe at these speeds. So I don't have anything to complain about this here. Uh, if you like the design, and I personally, I would just put it in my garage just for the design. Okay, it could have a bit more get up and go. You know, maybe the 200 might be a better idea. But the 200, I think, is already like 500 euro more. You, all can, you can also get this in three colors, yellow, red, and black. Also, you can get it in the limited version, which is Antrazit or something. I don't know how to say this in English, like uh, the special color for the 500 limited version uh, edition. But I would like the yellow or the red one, actually, much better. 
I could highly recommend it to you if you like the design. If you don't mind the hard seat, then come here to Malaga and order one, please, from Moto 1000 in Churiana. And that's everything I can sell you at the moment. Uh, thanks very much for watching. This is Ben Alright Out. Take care. Bye bye.